Hey guys, I'm Philip with Coal Ironworks, and today we're going to be forging some 954 aluminum bronze into an axe. It squishes just like butter, moves, moves like crazy, so we're going to be uh, first resizing this billet to make suitable axe stock. Yeah, we're going to see if we can make an axe head out of it. Here we go. So we got this bronze stock here. It's about uh, an inch and a half by two, I'd say. Um, we're gonna try to reforge it down to about an inch by three, see if we can get close to those dimensions, probably uh, upset it a little bit in this dimension as well. Starting to get a little bit of color. You don't want to let this stuff heat up too much. Uh, if it's like a dull red, it's ready to forge. So we'll let it soak a little bit longer and uh, yeah, we'll be ready to go. Today I will be doing all of my forging on a 25 ton coal ironworks press. Uh, we got the full width flat dies in here. These are uh, made out of heat treated H13 and they're great for resizing stock or uh, just flattening out things. Uh, so we're gonna be using those for the majority of the resizing operation. Um, we also got the control on here, which is pretty awesome. I can set the top of my stroke and the bottom of my, my stroke, and it's accurate within about 30 thou or so. All right, we finished uh, resizing that bronze. We're pretty close to our uh, dimension we want to be at to produce an ax. Um, so we switched out to the punch and stripper dies here. Uh, we have an ax drift in the top, and we're gonna punch our hole with that. And then we have the stripper plate, which will pull the billet off of the drift. So the reason we were just preheating this drift is we wanted this, uh, this punch lube to stick to it and I'm using the graphite based uh, forge right punching lube and this stuff is just fantastic. It's likely that our billet will just fall off of this drift. I'm gonna let it cool for a sec so that I can get a shearing action. This bronze is really, really uh, smeary. So if I tried punching it now, it's likely that the slug would just smear past it. So I'm gonna let it cool for a, just a little bit. Right, guys we just did a die change we changed out to the drawing dies um, these are going to help us draw the cheeks of the axe and as well as the blade make them longer so um, 
these pull material in this direction. So I'm going to use a hand drift, run that into the billet, and then run it sideways across here so that when I'm forging the cheeks, I have support underneath with the drift. So occasionally when you're using a drift, uh, you'll get it stuck in a billet and it'll overheat on the corners or something will just roll over and start mushrooming. It is totally acceptable to just grind that away and give it whatever shape you want on the end to help assist you in uh, drifting your hole. So I just uh, lick this on the grinder real quick to take away some schmoo that I developed there. So. All right guys, so we got the axe billet roughed out. We got a relatively centered eye through there and uh, it's tapered on both sides to meet up and be an hourglass. And uh, yeah, so now we just got to draw the blade out and we are about done. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. All right, so we're back from lunch and our billet has cooled a bit. It's cool enough to touch. Um, so now we got the cheeks. They're starting to flare out on both sides. So now we have to select a top and a bottom. So I'm looking at this. This, this side looks kind of wonky. So I am going to flatten this side out. We'll call this the top. I'm just going to do that on the belt grinder. And then uh, we'll just clean up the bottom a little bit to prevent any cold shuts or anything from uh, you know, hurting us later down the road. So yeah, that'll be it. All right, so I just went ahead, flattened the top. Uh, profiled the bottom a little bit to remove some of those high step marks and uh, flatten the back. Now the rest of it will get fixed by forging. So um, yeah, let's head to the forge and get this thing hot.
So right now I'm just trying to pull material down from the, from the blade, make this beard a little bit bigger. Also, I'm trying to fix any uh, mistakes I made with the press and just kind of clean everything up. All right, so we have a big fuller in the bottom of our axe that we're trying to clean up. We want to make everything on the top perfectly flat. So we're going to take the axe, set it on uh, this crucible here, and just tap it to make the top flat. So that's one cool thing you can do with the presses is top tooling and bottom tooling. Uh, it's kind of sketchy, so just be careful when doing it. Use common sense and all the other sense. All right, well, it looks pretty straight. Um, yeah, I think the rest of it is uh, grinder work. So we'll let it cool and uh, I'll see you next time on the grinder. All right, guys, we got our forged ax here. Uh, what you didn't see, I cut off the top to make it flat and cut this bit back a little bit to give it a nice radius edge. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up on the grinder now and uh, yeah. So we have it uh, coarse scotch brighted now. I, I forget what grit these are, else I'd tell you. But uh, yeah, I like to finish off with this grit before doing anything else in the forge so that I can get uh, a nice even texture on there in the forge. But uh, everything is turning out pretty good. It's looking pretty straight and I was able to fix most of my mistakes on the grinder, so yay for grinders. All right, so this brush here is uh, just giving us an even texture all over, kind of eliminating a lot of the sheen that we just uh, exposed while grinding. All right, so now we're gonna quench it, get the edge a little bit hard. I'm not gonna heat up the whole blade because the whole thing doesn't need to be hard, just the edge. And this stuff is pretty unique, it water quenches, so. We're getting pretty close to the temperature. I think we're about ready. Once I pull it out here, we're gonna head over to the quench tank and dunk this sucker. Cool, well we didn't hear any pings or uh, feel any crazy motions. So I think we're good. We didn't crack it or anything. So I'm just gonna let this cool off for a sec. And then we will have the big reveal.
I haven't forged an axe in a while, so that was uh, a bit a bit troublesome at some parts. But I think overall we did a really good job. Um, here it is. It's kind of a, I don't know, it kind of looks like David at Cedar Lore, kind of like his work. Um, I don't know if he's just rubbing off on me, being around him all the time. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, we're gonna have some more footage coming up soon of us, uh, you know, putting a handle on it and sharpening it and all that. But our blade is just about finished. Um, it would be fun to mess around with some tumbling or something to see if we could get the finish a little bit better. But overall, I'm totally happy with it. So I think we'll just call it done. Thanks, guys.